Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Amazon haul. I don't think I've ever done an Amazon haul. Maybe, but I don't think so. So if you would like to see some of the random things that I purchased, please keep watching because who doesn't love an Amazon haul? Like I swear I could watch them all day and then I'm like, mm, I need that and that and that and it's like stuff you never even knew you needed. But anyways, please keep watching. So I'm just gonna start off with the things that are downstairs that I can't really like bring up to show you guys. So I'll just put a picture of it on the screen. So the first thing that I bought, which I actually used in like a week, cause I was waiting for other things to come and I didn't realize it was gonna burn so fast, but. Mm. So I got the Yankee Candle large jar in the scent Christmas cookie. I saw somebody on YouTube talking about it and it's, they said it was their favorite scent from Yankee Candle. And I'm like, hmm. I don't think I've ever tried a Yankee Candle, so let me get this. And it was really inexpensive. I think it was like 10 or $11, so it's about the same price as a Bath & Body Works candle if you get them on sale. And it smelled good, but to me, I wouldn't repurchase it just because it didn't really smell. Does that make sense? Like, it smelled, but it didn't smell at my whole house like the Bath & Body Works candles do. So I don't know if I just need to try another scent of Yankee Candle. If I can find some other scents on Amazon for like 10 or 11 bucks, then I'll try it. But other than that, like this one, I, I wouldn't repurchase. The next thing that I always buy monthly is my cat food. So my one cat, Hazel, she, hazelnut she's so cute anyways um she's like allergic to fish and I used to buy like just like random not random cat food but I would stick with the same brand just like different kinds just to see like what they liked and her like bottom lip would like swell up every time that she would eat it so I just assumed that she's allergic to fish so I switched over to the meow mix bistro recipes and they get the rotisserie chicken and both my cats really like it or I have three cats I keep forgetting um all my cats really like it so I've been buying the same kind of cat food for like two years and the only other place that I can buy it is Walmart but it's always hit and miss like they don't always have it in stock or one Walmart will have it and one won't so I just started buying it off of Amazon it's pretty much the same price anyways so that's another thing that I get like all the time the next thing I got was a Honey Can Do adjustable um, clothing rack. <laughs> I had a brain fart, I'm sorry. So I got that. I haven't put it together yet because I told Frank, I'm like, hey, I want to get Jane a clothing rack. And he's like, okay. And I ordered this one off of Amazon. It was pretty cheap too. And then he came home with one from Walmart. So I was just like, I guess we'll just keep this one if we need it in the future. So um, yeah, that's just chilling downstairs in the box. But I can't really tell you guys if it's good or not because I haven't taken it out of the box. Anyways, the next thing. Okay, side note. I've been shopping from Amazon for like three years. What would you guys think if I went through... This might be a little extreme, but if this will be my third year till it's 20. So what would you guys think if I did a video and I told you guys everything I bought in 2018? Like I showed you everything and then I told you whether it was like a hit or miss. Would you guys be interested in that? I mean, it would be a long video but I don't know. And then I could show you guys everything I bought in 2019, hits and misses, tell you what I think you should buy and what you should save your money on. Let me know in the comments below. Like it would be a long video, but I think it would be fun. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, so <laughs> this thing is genius. If you burn a lot of candles, you need this. This is an electric lighter. Whoever came up with this, genius. So it came with like a little charger and I just like unplug my one of my iPhone phone chargers or whatever and I plug it the USB thing into this and then I plug it in the wall. Um, I think you can also charge it from a computer. I don't know. You can charge it a few different ways I think. But anyways, so this is what it looks like. It's kind of scary. It looks like a torch. Frank said it looked like a taser. I don't know. But you can adjust it and you just flip it on and then there's five little dots you probably won't be able to see but there's five dots and when all five dots are lit up blue that means this thing is like fully charged right now it's at four so you just do this and then you push the power button and you get like a it's like science I don't know you get like a little flame and I'm like this is awesome I'll never have to buy those stupid lighters you know like in the two pack that you have to sit there and like click it and click it and click it and then shake it and click it and click it. like I don't even have to worry about that because I have this for life now so I thought this was genius can I say that anymore but if you guys burn a lot of candles or you just need this for something like totally buy it it is so worth the money 
Then I got some chia seeds. I told myself in... <laughs> Actually, I told myself this right before I got pregnant. So I got pregnant like January 2019, had my baby in October. And I think at some point before that, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to diet anymore. I'm not going to do it. Like, I hate, I hate it. I'm not doing it anymore. Well, anyways, then I got pregnant. I gained some baby weight. I got really lucky though and lost quite a bit of it within like the first 10 days. So that was nice. But then I feel like I was just like stuck and I had a c-section so I already kind of had like a little pooch or whatever down there prior like before I got pregnant um but it just kind of got like a little bit worse since after I got pregnant so I don't know if that's ever gonna go away or whatever anyway so I told myself I was gonna do the keto Atkins thing again I know I feel like I do it yearly at this point but so far I've done it for five weeks and I wanted to do the chia seed pudding I think eventually I'm gonna go from regular keto to the vegan keto I really want to try that because there was about a year or two ago Frank and I went vegan for about 90 days and one I gained 10 pounds that sucked but other than that I felt so good like I didn't feel like I was starving I felt like I had a lot of energy I went to the bathroom um, like three to five times a day and that is not normal for me. Um, I feel like whenever I eat animal product, product, especially meat, that it takes me, like I have to drink coffee to go to the bathroom because I feel like my body just does not break that down. But when we went vegan, mm. but I, this is what I do when I get on diets. I find the sneaky way and I eat that stuff. So when we went vegan, we got all the desserts from Whole Foods that were vegan and we got the Oreos, which are vegan and we did it that way so that's probably why I gained 10 pounds but anyways I think eventually um we talked about it and I have a 13 year old almost 14 year old and then I have a newborn we talked about eventually going like 100% vegan but I just find it tricky when you have kids because I don't I just don't think it's fair for me to pick their diet for them like right now I mean I still give him like treats and stuff but for the most part he eats pretty clean but he does eat meat too um and with a baby, like, I just don't know. And I feel like that should almost be their decision when they move out on their own. Like, I don't want to make them do, like, any kind of lifestyle change if if they don't want, you know what I mean? If they don't want to. So, um, we're kind of like, mm, maybe once everybody gets out of the house, we'll do it. Or, I don't know. We're just all over the place with it. But anyway, so, I got a thing of chia seeds. I felt like this was the best value. Normally, I get my chia seeds from... Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or Home Goods because I feel like those are cheap. But this whole thing was like six bucks, and it's two pounds, and it comes like a with a tablespoon in there already. So I've been making the chia seed pudding in the morning to eat, or if I want it for a snack. So I do three tablespoons of this, some unsweetened almond milk, some cinnamon. I have some sweetener drops, and then I put some hemp hearts like on top, and that's what I've been eating. And this is like a really good, the chia seed pudding is a really good like vegan option as well. The next thing I got, I think I got a little bit of the postpartum hair loss. I don't remember getting it with my firstborn, but I think it happened to me this time. So um, I got all paranoid about it and stuff like that, and I already have thin hair, so I need every single strand, you know what I mean? Um, but I decided I would try out the biotin like everybody always recommends it I've never taken it personally so I just got the one that had the best reviews on Amazon it's for hair skin nails and it's the fast dissolve strawberry flavor there's no carbs in this that's the first thing I looked for you take one tablet a day and I think I've been taking this for like a week so I'm sure it's going to take a while before I actually notice anything but I like that it just dissolves like you don't have to take it with water or anything like that so another thing that I've been doing since I've been getting some like uh, some I've been getting a lot like a lot of hair has been falling out lately like it freaks me out every time but anyways um I've been trying to only wash my hair like twice a week and I'm one of those people that washes their hair every day because I cannot stand dirty hair but I've been trying really hard the last like month or so to only wash my hair once or twice a week and trust me I want to pull my hair out like it totally grosses me out I've been like living off a of dry shampoo but like I'm so desperate right now that I'm gonna try anything but I saw this and this is the hair scalp massage shampoo brush so because I'm not washing my hair as much I thought I would use this for the days that I did wash my hair because I need the extra help so this yeah I don't know um I don't even know how I found this thing 
but I heard that if you rub your scalp for like five minutes a day that it promotes hair growth. It's something like that, right? Like five, 10, 15 minutes. So I thought I could use this when I shampoo my hair. But this thing was pretty inexpensive, had good reviews. I think it was like five or six dollars. So I guess you just hold it like this. Oh, I feel like my hair is gonna get stuck in this and you just, so I guess we'll see. Next, I got some lashes. These are the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. And there's one, two, three, four sets. So I just got some more lashes. Then I saw this on a on uh, Pinterest. I almost said Amazon when I got this from Amazon. Duh. But I saw this on Pinterest and it looked interesting. So this is the OGX Smoothing and Liquid Pearl Luminescent Serum. It says the sparkling serum helps smooth the hair to reflect light and luster. Silky smooth strands that are illuminated with vibrancy and reveal your inner mermaid. So apply a small amount into palm, smooth over palms and spread evenly onto clean towel dried hair working through ends. Do not rinse. Style as usual. Oh, I was going to put it on as like a finisher, you know, but I guess not. So maybe I'll just try it both ways, but I love OGX. I use a lot of their products for when I leave my hair naturally curly, but then I saw on target.com that they have a shampoo and conditioner. So I think I'm going to grab that too. Next, I've been watching the Victoria's Secret, like Vogue, get ready with me makeup tutorials or whatever with the Victoria's Secret models. And one of them kept using these little cosmetic sponges. I never thought I would buy these again in my entire life after owning like a beauty sponge, like a beauty blender. But I kind of wanted these to bake with because I noticed when I put loose powder on my wet sponges, they crack. Does that happen to you guys? So I would much rather ruin these things than my expensive sponges. So that's what I got these for to like bake my bronzer contour or to bake my nose. So I got these. This is the Jumbo Cosmetic Wedges Latex Free and there's 16 in there. Next, I got my favorite moisturizer. Yeah, I'm gonna say it and it's from the drugstore. This is L'Oreal Hydrogenous Extra Dry Skin. 72 hour comfort. This is like my fifth container of it. I always get it for like the winter time. They have um, a lighter version that's in the glass bottle for like daytime, but I love this, especially if my face is feeling super dry, it has like a clean scent to it. I'm just like obsessed with it. You can use it morning or night, just whenever, but it is so good. It's kind of hard to find in store. So I just started buying it off of Amazon and this is what it looks like. So if you're looking for a good, super moisturizing, moisturizer that actually does something check this out next jumping on the bandwagon and i got the pink barrel curler that i'm sure you guys have seen all over youtube just like me so i wanted to try it and like so this is what i do with like just a wand sometimes it's more curly sometimes it just looks like this or I leave my hair naturally curly so i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this because i pretty much already do like curly hair anyways so I don't know this is what it looks like and I kept this in my cart for like two months and it kept going on sale and even on more on sale and then it would add like 10 bucks and then I finally grabbed it when I think it went down to like 25 bucks or something like that so I got a Amazon gift card for my birthday so I just went ahead and bought it with that and I think this is the one that everybody uses so I want to try it out the last thing I got is a new LED lighted makeup mirror. I got this with my birthday gift card as well. And it's rose gold, so it'll match my mirror back here because nothing else matches it. And I think eventually, right now I film on a desk facing you and this is my background, but this desk takes up like my whole room. So I think eventually like what I see is going to be my background. I don't know. We'll test it out. It might be too cluttered. So I want to use this for videos from now on. Like, look at this. Isn't this pretty? I think it was like $25 USB charger, I guess. And then there are the bases in there too, but I just want to show you guys what it looks like. I think it's a dupe for those impression vanity mirrors, like the ones that light up. This is impressions vanity behind me, but yeah, I just wanted something else that was rose gold. So I didn't just have that. So we have a two times mirror. Oh God. Three times. It's going to make me pick my face. Oh my gosh. And then, yeah, I'm just... Looks like it's, I don't know if this is Bluetooth or anything like that, but super excited for this. So it's everything from my Amazon haul. Let me know what you guys think of Amazon hauls and I will gladly keep filming them because I love Amazon and 
if I do, you do. I think everybody does. Everybody loves Amazon. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know your guys' favorite things from Amazon that you think that I need in the comments below because I probably will buy them. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this Amazon haul and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.